Nigeria, Kenya didn't violate Kanu's Human Rights International Human Rights Commission. The Geneva-based International Human Rights Commission, IHRC, has disclosed that it received about 25 petitions from individuals and groups across the world demanding that the commission carry out an independent investigation of alleged human rights violations and possible breaches to establish international and regional diplomatic protocols in the arrest and repatriation to Nigeria, leader of proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Inamdi Kanu. The Commission made this known in a statement dated the 7th of July 2021 and signed by the IHRC's Special Envoy for Africa Region, Evans M. Mutavi. According to the statement, the Commission accordingly conducted an independent investigation into the matter and found out that there was no violation of Inamdikano's human rights in the event leading to his, to his rearrest and repatriation to Nigeria. Contrary to the claims by IPOB leader family investigations by IHRC indicates that he was neither tortured nor treated inhumanely by the Kenyan Special Police Forces. In fact, a I, IHRC said the commission is convinced that the Kenyan government played no official role in the event that led to Kanu's arrest while stressing the IHRC is committed to safeguarding the rights of citizens across the globe. The commission says it expects the Nigerian government to try in Kanu in line with the country's laws and respect its human rights. The allegations by Kanu's family may have been made to gain people's sympathy or what do you think? Excuse me. Now that is rude. <laughs> Share your opinion with us. And that's it. This I'm so Wow. Proof so from your investigation, what did you find out? Because again, you're just telling us that um, Kenya didn't violate Namdekanu's rights. But then, can how? What's, what's your line of reasoning? What's your line of research? What, what happened? Because he came into the country apparently with a British passport. Did he leave the country with a British passport? Can immigration vouch and say on this day, Namdekanu left the country? Because the torture was not was not well from what we know from what we've heard or what has been given to us the torture that an americano said he went through or the family said he went through for eight days was not done by the kenyan police force so if anything we're not talking about that we're talking about his whereabouts can kenya actually say that an americano left the country by himself with his passport going to nigeria or what actually happened because again if the international human rights commission is not giving details and just saying Oh, the the in Americanos rights were not violated. It shows that even internationally, when it comes to all these and human rights violations and all that, it just means that there's no one to hold the Nigerian government accountable, especially as well the the Kenyan government. And if anything, why is the British government being quiet? Because he went to Kenya with a British passport. So what is going on? What is actually going on? This does not make any sense whatsoever. This is so embarrassing. I mean, is this all it is? Is this all? I, I'm so. What? We didn't ask if he was treat, he was tortured or treated inhumanely. We're not asking for that. What we're basically trying to. Wow. So we can't even rate. I mean, we knew that. Obviously, we knew that. Okay, fine. In this, we are, we are on our own. To be honest, but then to think that is even even more confirmed by this that in the international community, when it comes to you know holding governments accountable, are not doing their job. Because I'm so sorry, what kind of whack investigation is that? How can, what kind of what kind of investigation did you did they actually do? Because I'm just thinking that they didn't wow. Hmm. Somebody says he has failed round one of his case before his case proper. Okay. Someone says Biafra will fail under the, under the leadership of Anamdi Kanu. Uh they would hear at the corner of heaven. Igbos are just deceiving themselves there is nothing wrong for freedom but the way the two fighters Igboha and Kanu engage themselves in the system is not good failures and their blind followers would you really judge them I mean come on I mean you might not agree with it but then look at your actual leaders are they any better come on uh someone here says Zoo spending 30 billion dollars on image rounding having gone into intercontinental and terrorism the cabals are investing their intercontinental human rights organization to lambda zoo image all right 
Uh, time will tell that. Time will tell. By that time, we will know where the zombies like you who support evil will hide. The evil you do will hunt you and hurt your children to, or down to the fifth, or to your fifth generation. This is sad. And I don't want to believe this because I'm like, from this article, it just made it seem like as if, you know, the investigation was like, you know, woo woo to the answer. Like, it wasn't even detailed. It wasn't, it wasn't, how can you just give a statement? You're, come on, this is international human rights commission. But then again, do they really have as much power? What connections do they have? What kind of, what kind of funding would they have to do investigations like this? You know, um, we need to ask all these questions. But from the results that we have here, this is absolutely whack. This is absolutely terrible. Oh my gosh, this is so terrible. I mean, I really, I don't, I really don't want to believe that after all the investigation, being independent and that, um, this is what is happening. Hmm. Someone says, "Can is a criminal, and any one part of his criminality is a criminal." Okay. Um, but you're not calling your own government a criminal, please. Yeah, it's, it's, you're coming for Namdi Kana again. You can come for Namdi Kana and you know, criticize their, you know, criticize their um, approach to doing whatever they do. But the fact is, don't pretend. Because again, if you're going to criticize, we can assume that you're comparing and contrasting to what you already have, basically your government. And on that basis and on that note, is your government even any better? Because this is what we actually need to ask. Is your government any better? Because I'm now like you're talking as if you you know what you know how we should have gone about it or you know I'm <laughs> this don't make sense at all at all it's like at all so my it says um paid propagandist as we APC government it will not work for you fake news peddlers okay as we APC government who made you in charge <laughs> who really made you in charge um. I believe this is fake news. Fake news. Um, can this article be true? I Sam, I'm doubting it. I'm so sorry. International Human Rights Commission will do a whole investigation and then all they will say is that, oh, Kenya did not violate Namikano's right. Huh? I'm not even someone who does investigations and I'm already asking questions like, okay, how did he go in? How did he leave the country? Where where was he living? Because of, of course, if he's coming into the country, immigration needs to ask questions. Where was he planning to stay? What car was he driving? What? Embarrassing. That's all it is. Put what you think about this and don't forget to like and subscribe.